Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After and I am back with another resin project. So today I am making a resin clock and I don't know about y'all, but I have been really, really, really wanting a resin clock for a while now. Um, and now I started by buying one. I bought one wooden clock kit off of Amazon and it came and I love it. It's the one I'm making today. I'll leave a link down below but it is, um, it's a little smaller than I wanted. Okay. I want a big resin clock. Now I'm going to get back to that because in my search for the perfect resin clock, I've made this one from Amazon and I'm going to show you how that turned out later. But after I made that one, I found another resin clock base, a wooden one from target. And I picked that up and then I found a mold for a full resin clock that I ordered um, from Miniature Suite and you'll see that in my unboxing video later. So now I have three resin clocks to make. I've only made one and they are all small. So I suppose we're going to make a bunch of resin clocks is what I'm getting at. So here's the first one. We have two more small ones and the one from Miniature Suite is actually about half the size of the one today. But after these three, I swear I'm going to, if I have to like get some big MDF or some plywood and cut a circle, maybe I can just get a big wood round. But at one point, at some point, I'm going to make a giant resin clock. In the meantime, let's do the one today. It would be cute in a little gallery wall. Um, and I think I actually am going to put it up in my office, but you're going to need the wooden base. You're going to need to paint it so that the wood does not just like drink all of the resin or be prepared to do multiple, multiple coats. I decided to paint mine. I painted it white. You're going to need your resin. I use amazing clear cast. Um, you're going to need a clock mechanism. This little kit comes with a clock mechanism. I tried to be fancy and change out the hands and it did not work. So I went with the one that came with the kit, which is another reason I'm going to make some more. So now I have a bunch of clock hands that I'm going to use. Who needs clocks? I'm making them. You're going to need your safety gear. So I'm talking your gloves and your respirator. You definitely need a heat gun to pop bubbles because you want that surface of your clock to be smooth and bubble free. You need all your colors. I used the trifecta plus two, same, same combo I use all the time, the blush, rose gold, white, rose gold glitter, and rose gold flakes. And we're gonna get started. I have, of course, a full list down below in the supply bar of just everything I used. So if you see something in the video you want, there's a link for it down below. We're gonna jump into this project and let me know if there's a clock that I haven't thought of that I need to make because apparently we're making all the clocks, guys.
All right, clock number one is done. So I do really like how it turned out. As you can see, I think these portions where the resin is on top of the white are definitely going to um, yellow with time. I think maybe just because of the resin, but they already look just a little yellow compared to the white. So in the future, I might have mixed just a bit of um, maybe alcohol ink and with that clear resin over this white paint. Now I've used this resin over white paint many times without that effect. So it might have just been my mixing ratios, but this is what we came up with. I do really like it. Like I said, I think I am going to hang this in my office. Um, I wanted fancier hands, but I do like how they come off the clock, which is nice. I may paint them rose gold. I, I might just have to, guys. So, if you liked this clock, if you want to see the next, like, four clocks I'm going to make, stay tuned. We will be doing resin again next week. Bye.